It's Shine, the program actually that gives you the platform and helps you to understand the uniqueness of your talent in a bit to making those talents of yours work for you. A lot of you have talent and don't even know how unique it is. You think it's just about dancing, it's about singing, it's about doing comedy. Well, talents exceed that and you have to understand well how unique your very talent is and make them work for you. And in the beat to making those talents of yours work for you, this very episode is going to help you understand well the core values of your very talents. I told you before we went with that music video that I will be having a guest on the program who with me will be discussing on a book he actually wrote. He titled it The Social Media Business Guide. Alongside with that, we'll be discussing how to empower youths. Yes, employment and youth empowerment, basically. You see a lot of youths actually out there and they just depend on government. They want government to do everything for them. Just want to sit at the comfort of your house and just fold your arms and say, after all, the government is not doing anything, so why would I do anything? I tell you, it's your life to live. It's not the government's life to live for you. It's your own life. So you just have to take the bull by the horn and start doing something. And in a bit to start doing something, this very episode will actually help you understand well. Some things you're doing that could actually profit you, but you don't even know they could profit you. With me on the program today is an entrepreneur, an IT consultant, an accountant himself, Mr. Donald E.G.K. Ogua. You're welcome on the program. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm happy to be here today. It's our pleasure to, to host you on the program, Shine, today. Yeah, thank you. Looking at the social media, a lot of people actually understand that. Yes, what some people even say with social media is just to go online and chat and share with friends. Some people don't even understand that there is business in social media itself. So now let's look at social media as a general platform now. Is it, does it have more business calls than even a real life scenario? Thank you so much for that question. Um, most people, uh, that was actually what uh, moved me to write this book. Most Nigerians don't really understand the basics of social media. They just feel that social media is a place where you just come, interact, somebody posts something, you respond. And I've also identified that most Nigerians have become social media warriors. In real life, they don't do anything. It's only online. When they come online, they are like lions. They are strong motivators online. Yeah, they are, very, they are lions. But when they come in real life, they can do nothing. They only complain that the government is not doing this, the government is not doing that. But what I always tell people, I've been opportune to work with youth. And I always tell them, anybody that have access to a smartphone, you have already secured your future. That's the number one in this 21st century. That's if, if you, you use it well. Have access, yeah, to a, a smartphone with an internet connectivity, forget it, you're already secured for life. So, but most people, why they fail is because they feel that the social media is just for social life. It's also a business. Look at the world richest people in the world today. So many of them find their roots on social media platforms. Mark Zuckerberg that we talk about today, how does he make his money from Facebook? So, and this is a platform that has been designed in such a way when you understand what is in it, that's the only way you can benefit from it. So the problem we have with the youth is that they just feel that the phone, just let me go online, wow, wow this person is chatting with this person. You can find picture. Yeah, find yeah. <laughs> when you go send profile picture, somebody is already there reacting to that particular post, forgetting that there is, for every action on social media, there is a corresponding monetization attached to it. That's serious. So and until you understand that monetization, there is no way you can benefit from it. You will just be missed in the crowd. Okay, Mr. Ogua, before I go into the general principles of what the book seeks to achieve, yeah. what set of people do, does your book actually target? So, my target market for the book is for every youth between the ages of 18 to 45. Anybody who can read and write and also use the social media platforms. So, between the ages of 18, 18 to 45. To 45. Yeah. Those people are actually very, very agile and yeah, have the ability to work. Exactly. Now, what are the core principles that are embedded in this very book? So this uh, book, uh, like me, uh, personally, I'm an activist of the uh, SDG1 goal, which is the eradicating poverty okay. in Nigeria, uh, in Africa. So what I'm looking at is how to eradicate poverty 
And for you to eradicate poverty is through employment and empowerment of the youth. So what I'm looking at for the book to really achieve is that at the end of the day, every youth understands how the social media platforms has been, are being designed. Do you get it? So that they can profitably use it for business. So you are using social media, you go to an event, you snap, you post on Instagram. So as your friends are liking it, let it be converting to money. Because it's the same thing, you don't need, there's no extra effort. What you just need is the knowledge. How does it work? Because most people, they fail because they, they, they don't want to ask questions. They don't want to feel, uh, you, so you are So you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. So, but there's nothing wrong. Ask questions, you know, this is how to go about it. So that as you are posting those pictures, they are converting to money for you. That's just what the idea that they need to understand. It. It lo what I, I, I think what a lot of people actually have problems with is having that patience and that yeah. time to so actually get it. So with it's, it's not something that you just start today. And just money get the money to today. Like <laughs> so that's, I think that's where, because most of these problems actually, it's not as if some people don't know that, yes, I can get money through yeah. this thing. It's just that, okay, do I even have all the time? <laughs> Instead, let me just go to somewhere and just do something and just get my money instantly. Yeah. And sometimes, yeah, some people are actually security conscious of mm -hmm. making money online because they are scared of losing the money. You can see the way MMM came and go. Yeah. So all of those are some of the problems, I think. Yeah. Now, how do we help correct the orientation of our youths okay. towards helping themselves yeah. to benefit from their own pleasures? For you to be scammed, you must have an element of greed in you. Do you get it? Mm. Nothing goes for nothing. So you, you can't tell me, for example, I didn't play any lotto. Somebody will send me a message that you have won 10 billion, <laughs> 10 billion. That, that you should send, send 5,000 naira card. to cash your prize. So, so to me, it doesn't make sense. So there must be something. What action did you took for a particular uh, Monetization chance to be coming return. to you? There must be something you are giving to expect something in return. Talking about um, the fears of the people. The fears are there. We have been hearing about it. It's real. The scam we are talking about is real. But it's all about understanding your own business settings. Like the online businesses, I talked about over 30 online businesses there uh, on the, on the, in the book. book. But none of them involves you giving money to somebody. It's a system. That's one thing that I've realized about the rich. The rich create systems. So when you create a system, it enables you to make money. You don't necessarily, like in the olden days, they will tell you, uh, teach me how to fish. And don't give, don't me, give fish. me fish. But today now, the, that, that adage has changed. Okay. What people are now saying, teach me how to own a pond, not how to uh, fish. Because sometimes there might, sometimes no, there might be no fishes there in no fishes there. the pond. Because, so, but when you own a pond, you tell people, come and fish. They will pay you a certain percentage. So you don't need to. So even those fish. who know how to fish yeah, will pay you for fishing. Pay you for fishing. <laughs> yeah. So that's how it is. So what you just need to do is to create that system. So, and that's what the online platform is talking When you create a system, for example, you, don't, you can go and sleep. Every morning, your, your phone will just ring. That's also amount has entered. That's coming. So no matter how, how little it no is. No matter how little it is. But you, and you don't need, what you just need is little effort. If for, like, for most of the online businesses I stated there, I made it very clear to them that if you are thinking of a get-rich-quick scheme, don't even think of that book. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. So it's, it's a process. Got, yeah, it's a process. But once you build it within three months, just go and sleep. The money will be coming. Now, one very important one before we we'll close off the segment. Mm -hmm. How can I get this book? A person who wants to get this book, how do, does he get this book? I understand that the book is online. It's available yeah, online. Yeah, so, it's how do I get this book? The book is online. It's on my blog, mti360.com. Okay. It's also, uh, actually, uh, like I told you, it was on Sunday that I launched it. And as I speak with you, it's already, already number one on onlinenaira.com. It's already on onlinenaira.com, nigergisquare.com. You can get it there. This is how far we can actually hold on this very segment. I must thank you for actually coming on the program thank and you spending so your time with us. We really appreciate every bit of it. Well, you've heard the only thing the government owes you as a youth is an enabling environment. As far as the government has set up the enabling environment for you, then you have no excuse. And even if they don't, you still don't have an excuse. You are the reason for your own failure. Remember that. Let me entertain you and let me feed you fancy with this one. It's a spoken word, actually, saying digital life. I'll be back after this one. I am Luke Manadilakin and it's been the program Shine. We gone, we gone, we shine. Learn, say, say, go to school, say, say, you don't want to know anything. Get in Thailand, they say, no, now, talk, talk, we are telling. My people, my name is Jerome Fato for the kingdom of my sin. They call me educator, my name for short, my name for short. Right now, I am with Generalismo on the program Shine. Well, like, I am ready to shine. If you are not ready to shine, you are on the long-term boy, please, my father. We go, we go, we shine.